Yo, what is up everyone? Today we are gonna talk about rowing and the core. So we know that rowing is one of the best aerobic exercises that you can do. It's low impact and it's involving over 83% of all of your muscles. It's a tough exercise. But rowing is also really good at creating a strong core if you row correctly. So when it comes to taking the rowing stroke, we should know that we emphasize the stroke by driving with the legs first, then swinging open past vertical with the body, and then finishing with the arms, driving most of the power from the legs. As we come back out to take the next stroke, it's just the opposite of that sequence. Arms first, body over, and then compressing the legs to come back up to the front to take the next stroke. Now throughout that stroke sequence, the main core activation component of rowing comes from that action at the hips. It comes from that body swinging from past vertical to vertical and then behind vertical. And the same as you come back up. But if you're fairly new to rowing or you're not constantly thinking about you know, the rowing motion, a lot of us tend to row vertically, straight up and down, using the fact that our feet are strapped in to kind of pull us up. And that can actually cause a lot of hip pain, which I've done a separate video about. So if you're interested in that, you can check that link right there. But when we're rowing vertically, even if we're given a nice strong leg drive and pulling in with the arms, you're still missing out on developing your core muscles and they're just kind of hanging out there. So what can you do to get the most core activation out of your rowing? Well, you don't really need to change up your form all that much. What you should do, try rowing with your feet out of the foot plates. So instead of strapping in, just place your feet on top. Then when you grab the handle and start rowing, you will very soon figure out if you're using your core or not. What a lot of people tend to do when they first start rowing feet out is you fly backwards and fly off of your rower because you were using the fact that your feet were strapped in to pull you back up. But now that when your feet are unstrapped, you're forced to use your core not only to bring you back up to take the next stroke by you know initiating trunk flexion but using your core in your lower back as well to control the drive backwards so you don't jump back too far too fast and uncontrollably and when you take some practice strokes rowing with your feet out you'll notice it almost immediately that that core activation is so much stronger than with your feet strapped in now do you want to row feet out for hours and hours on end? Not necessarily, but what you can do is you can take a couple minutes out of your warm up before you start your rowing workout to row with your feet out to help plan your mindset, to help you get your head in the game, to use your core and knock out that stroke sequence. You do that, you're going to get a lot more core activation and your overall stroke sequence is going to be that much closer to perfection. So next time you're rowing, before you start your workout, take a couple minutes to row with your feet out. Careful not to fly back out of the seat or land on the rail. That's probably one of the worst pains you could ever experience. So give that a try and get that core activation to help you develop a strong core from rowing. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you've got questions for me, leave them down below. As always, I really appreciate the support. If you've got more video suggestions for me, please also leave those down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you next time.